when we were formulating the program, uh, we were contrasting our thinking of what, what a traditional NASA program looks like. And uh, traditionally, NASA uh, is very good at writing technical specifications and paying the costs, usually the full cost, to develop new space capabilities. And we knew with our limited budget that that was uh, not likely to happen. It, it was, we were not likely to see multiple commercial companies develop and operate new space transportation capabilities with, with that limited budget. So we knew we needed to, that we were going to become an investor and not pay the full cost. Now that meant then that the companies needed to, to, to complete the financing and put their own skin in the game, which we think was really important because this was, a, this was a program where we were not only sharing the cost, we were also sharing the risk. And, and by putting you know, corporate funding on the line is, is, a, is a demonstration of, of, of company commitment and sharing the cost risk with us as well. So, so we were looking at several different instruments uh, when we decided how to uh, formulate the program. Uh, we believed that the traditional cost plus contract was not appropriate. So we were uh, exploring our NASA's ability to use other transaction authority. And NASA is one of the few agencies in the country that have the authority to enter into funded agreements uh, outside of the federal acquisition regulations. And that was explicitly given to NASA to develop new cutting state-of-the-art capabilities uh, back uh, when... Uh, uh, NASA was formed in, in, uh, in, in the late 50s. So we took advantage of that authority, and this was the first time that we had used the funded Space Act agreement at this magnitude uh, with $500 million. So we, we, as an investor, we wanted to see performance. We wanted to see that the contractor was making progress. I'm sorry, not the contractor, the partner.